Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the power check chart that you would find in the AS350 B2 models and below. Um, this can be somewhat of a confusing chart to use at the beginning, but after you do a few, it becomes very easy just like anything else. And on the chart, you'll see that there's a dashed line on there to give you an example of how to do the, the chart. So in our example, we're gonna have a 394 rotor RPM, a torque of 80%, we'll have a pressure altitude of 5,000 feet, 299 or two in your Colesman window, an NG value of 97.5% and an outside air temperature of 20. Now, right off the bat, it's a little bit confusing on the bottom because we have these diagonal lines. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find our torque value and we're gonna follow that diagonal line until we get to our NR. So we intersect those two points, and then we're gonna draw a line straight up to the next chart above that. Now again, you'll notice these kind of curved lines on the um, next portion of the chart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna parallel those lines until we get to 5,000 feet. And then you're gonna draw a line straight up the chart. That's part one. The next part, we're gonna start over at the temperature. And we're gonna take that temperature and we're gonna go over until we get to the NG value. And then no matter where we end up on this chart, we're either gonna go up or we're gonna go down to that solid line that we see there. And then from the intersection point of the solid line, we intersect the line we drew, drew uh, straight up the uh, chart. And if it falls on the um, non-shaded side, the power check is good. And if it's on the shaded side, the power check is bad. I hope that answers any questions you have on the power check chart for the B2 aircraft and below. And we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.